The Faros system is well known for supporting DMX and DDMX devices. But we have full DALI implementation as well. As DALI works differently than the DMX protocol, we created this dedicated getting started video for DALI. There are two ways to use DALI within Faros. 1. Integrate to a DALI bus to receive triggers, or send actions, to the DALI system. 2. Commission and control DALI fixtures, including DALI RGB, via the Faros system, and integrate it with the rest of your programming. You can also use both simultaneously. To start, you will need to have one or more physical DALI ports in your Faro system. When using the TPC and DXT combination, you have access to a DALI port. Let's create a new interface. This is how we refer to a DALI bus within Designer. This allows us to easily map an interface to the correct physical DALI port. You can also add DALI ports to your Faro system by using Rio D remote devices. Please note that Faros DALI devices do not provide bus power. For DALI to function, you will need to ensure a correct DALI power supply is available on the bus. The DALI power LED will light up if power is present on the bus. If we open the trigger tab, we can see new triggers and actions that can operate direct DALI commands on this interface. Some of these triggers specifically make the Faros system listen to the DALI bus. Listening is useful if a Faros product is acting as a bridge to connect a DALI system with a Faros DMX system. In this example, upon hearing a certain DALI command, there is a recall of scene 2 on group 2. Faros trigger can start a timeline or scene to control the DMX fixtures, or provide any other action. Faros can also send a DALI command when a timeline is started, or on any other trigger. In this example, at the moment timeline 5 starts, a broadcast will be sent to DALI lights. To recall scene 1. If we want to commission and control DALI fixtures via the Faros hardware, we'll first need to add some DALI devices to our project layout. We do this in the same way as any other fixture, on the layout tab. Let's add 5 regular DALI ballasts. All DALI fixture properties can be set here. Because DALI devices are not DMX, they do not appear in the fixture browser, cannot belong to a matrix, and do not get patched as DMX fixtures. The setting up is done in the DALI tab. In the DALI tab, we see the fixtures added to the layout, and interface 1, which we created earlier. Other interfaces would appear as a new tab. If your hardware is connected, and you have uploaded the project once, you will find commissioning tools for the DALI bus here. You can discover or address ballasts in a new installation. When required, you can readdress the ballasts via a simple drag and drop, or readdress all automatically. You can highlight to identify your physical fixture. And then drag the corresponding ballast in your project to this fixture. Or drag multiple at once. Ballasts can be named to make this easier. In this view I can create groups too, and assign fixtures to these groups. When you're done, you can upload the complete configuration of this interface to your bus. If you want to use daily scenes, add a scene here. Select fixtures or groups. And set the intensity. You can include one or many daily fixtures in each scene. Don't forget to upload the configuration once you are done. We can include Dali and Faros designer scenes, together with other fixtures. Upon recall, Faros does not use the DALI scene command, but sends the required value to each fixture. This gives you 256 scenes to use, and can be outputted live. You can also include DALI in timelines. You can place Faro scenes that include DALI commands. Or add a DALI scene. Set color or set level command to broadcast to a specific group or even to an individual ballast with the DALI fade time you require. When using DALI set level commands, you might want to adjust the background of the timeline for better visibility. Faros supports up to 200 DALI interfaces in a single project.
This makes it ideal for the requirements of large museums, exhibition centers, or other areas where scene setting, and the synchronization between DALI and DMX fixtures, is key. This brings us to the end of the getting started videos. With this knowledge you should be able to commission basic projects, and start exploring the wide range of features that Pharos offers. To learn even more about your Pharos system, there are plenty of resources offered on our website, as well as the detailed, dedicated help file. We also offer in-person training sessions. Learn more about it on our website. If you have a specific issue, don't hesitate to reach out to our support. Thank you for watching our Getting Started video series.